Alright guys, what's up? Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. I actually found this um, not too long ago. I know it is kind of old, but for the subscribers that I have left that actually still watch these videos, then I have something pretty cool for you. I'm basically going to show you, because there's no really hiding it, it's in the title, how to turn your iPhone or iPod, essentially any uh, iDevice really, um, aside from the iPods and, you know, the old ones. So, any generation will do, and I'm going to show you how to turn it into a USB drive. This is good for if you're still in school, whether you're in college, or if you travel a lot and you need to transfer files, or, you know, you want to um, pack it up in here, travel, uh, maybe go to a friend's house, send them files. Just essentially, you know, just a USB drive. It's really easy. It's um, very, very convenient, and this is how we're going to do it. You're obviously going to need a jailbroken device. We're going to open up Cydia, and before I, you know, I know I'm going to get this question, uh, what theme is that? It's, the, all the information on the theme will be in the more info in the description box. It's actually from my source, uh, apt.cydia.us, that'll be in a quick annotation. Also, if you're interested in a written tutorial of this, there may or may not be one, and I will let you know in an annotation right now. It'll say, yes, there is one. You can go check it in the info. If there's not, then it, you're probably watching this brand new, so you're just going to have to wait for that. And we got to wait for it to refresh. And here we go. That's Cydia for you. And there's a reason I have my... Um, wow, what is it? Finder, excuse me. My finder open, you'll see that in a minute. So we're going to click on Manage. And we're going to click on Sources. We're going to click at the top, Edit, and Add. Okay, now we're going to type in apt.dmytro.me. M -E. You're going to click Add Source. It's going to load. It's going to tell you once it's done to return back to City. You're going to go ahead and do that. And you're going to be at this screen where I'm at. You're going to click Done at the top uh, right. Excuse me. You're going to click on the new source we just added. It's going to open it up and it's going to bring you one application called USB Drive. Let's tap into this. If you want more information or anything like that, you can go and click on more info. It'll bring us to his personal blog. You can go ahead and check that out. Uh, I will say this is beta release number two and will be essentially in beta until November 1st of this year. So uh, there you go with that. You're going to click on the top where mine says modify and you're going to click install. It's going to bring you to confirmation page. You're going to click confirm. And it's going to bring you to a page where you go back, blah, 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 blah. Most of you guys know about this anyway, but I'm saying it for you newcomers. Once you're done, you can go ahead and hit the home screen. And it should be on the following page or the next opening space for your uh, for an application on your screen. We're going to go ahead and go to the next page, and there it is, USB drive. Now we're going to open it up, and it's very simple, like I said, very convenient. And this is what your screen should look like exactly. I have done nothing to modify or change in any way that it would make it look different. So I'm right with you guys. So if you need help, you can go ahead and click the help, and it will bring you to the options where you can check and see um, for you know more of you advanced users on how the drives work specifically. Uh, for you, and more so for me as well, we're just going to leave it on default. It may already be on drive drive only as you can see right here so what you're going to want to do is click on default mode it's going to bring this pop up it's going to ask you to reboot do not reboot i want you to come over here and click cancel we're going to click cancel and we're going to run a created disks what this is going to do is essentially create the usb drive inside your device letting you store space and uh, all that good stuff so we're going to click on the arrow create disk you should see this uh, pop up your size, uh, although may be different from mine since I did mess with it a little bit. So it'll say volume one for your name. Let's go ahead and name this something different. Since obviously my name is Ryan, we'll call this Ryan's. Whoops, don't even know how to spell my own name. Ryan's USB. Explanation. Okay, so. Okay, so obviously I don't think you can do that. I mean, I guess that's good that I did in the video so you guys can see with me too, it's not a bug. Um, you can't do uh, asterisks or anything like that or any of the um, symbols. 
So there you go with that. Now your size is what, how big you want your USB drive to be. Normally you can get them at Walmart, 15, 30 bucks. They're one to two gigs. And uh, you can name pretty much, I mean, if you really wanted to, you can make your device a big old fat USB drive. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to leave it down. I mean, you can do whatever you want. If you want a really small one, like I said, you don't want to waste any space. Boom, send it to your friend. Good to go. Bam. And we're just want to make this a small one. So let's do, that's as close as we're going to get to one gigs. So we want to create, we've named it, we've resized it what we wanted to. This will be taking space on your device. Keep that in mind. It's like a disk um, in your Mac. Uh, as you can see, my disk three is five gigs. It takes up that. You'll never get it back unless you delete the disk. So just a quick heads up on there. We're going to go ahead and create and let it download. As you can see, it may take a few minutes to create the disk and we're just going to let it do its thing and we will see how long this takes. I'm doing this with you guys. And again, if you need any more help, there will be a written tutorial. Uh, whether or not it's up there now when you're seeing this video, maybe a different story. Again, you can check the sidebar. There's going to be links and everything. Also, my theme will be in there and my new source, which is apt.sidia.us. You can go and check that out. And the Twitter and everything will be there as well. I'm just kind of talking over this so you guys don't just have to sit here and watch this create the disk. This is loading in real time. You're seeing exactly what I'm seeing on the screen. So um, there's no lag or anything if that's what you guys are thinking. So we're going to let this uh, create. I could just stop the video. But I'm going to let it go in real time because I want you guys to see how long this is going to take. As a quick side note, I guess, um, my channel is pretty much dead. So if you're watching this and you're actually this far, man, you're awesome. Because I haven't made a video on this channel in a long time. I do plan on bringing it back in the future. I'm not going to focus on everything. I'm just going to, you know, um, expand the videos of this channel. You know, I mean, essentially this is my channel. I shouldn't really care what people say when I upload, right? So I'll be uploading, like, maybe a few Mac things that I find if they're cool and... You know, stuff like that. I do have some unboxings planned on eBay. Um, some iPhones, some iPods, and a lot of accessories. So you can expect that at least, at the very least. I know I say I always make videos, but you can at least count on that one. And this is taking quite a while. I'm sorry I'm just talking over it. It's just about done. <clears throat> I don't actually blame it taking this long. It's creating a whole new disk on my device. This is an extreme. I mean, I guess this isn't really a hack since it has the UI and everything, but essentially this could be considered a hack. It's a modification pretty pretty up at the top on my list. All right, we're just about done here. Sorry, guys, it's taking so long. You can probably fast forward the video anyway. Hmm, if you guys are interested in me doing like a top 10 uh, or top 5 city applications and or themes, let me know in the comments. I'll go ahead and do that right now. So the second you see this, let me know. So here it is. We've created the disk. Here it is, uh, Ryan's USB 1 gig. And we can go ahead and edit. So if you ever wanted to delete your virtual disk, you can go ahead and do so. Please don't worry about that. We're going to click done since we're not actually going to delete it. This is the default settings of my disk. And let's unselect it real quick. So we can go ahead and exit out. And let's go ahead and unplug and replug the device. And we will watch, see if we did this right. We're going to get my iPhoto to pop up. Yep. We're going to go ahead and close this real fast, get that out of the way from you guys. We're going to cancel the sync. Essentially, you would see this in the device area. Alright, we're going to go ahead and pause it and we'll see what I did wrong and I will let you guys know. Okay guys, I'm sorry about that. We're back. I finally figured it out. It took two seconds, literally. I shouldn't have even closed the video, but um, this is probably <laughs> a really obvious thing. We're going to click default. Whoops, let's click default. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Cancel default. Now we're going to reboot the device. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm very sorry about that. Basically, what we did was reboot the device, 
by choosing what you um, needed. And as you can see, uh, the second I booted up, here it is, Ryan's USB. So this is my USB drive. I can essentially, in theory, drag anything in here, whether it be a file or something, up to 1 gig, 1.6 gigs. As you can see right here, 1.6 gigs available. This is now my USB. I can use this for school, college, anything. And if I ever needed to, for whatever reason, expand it, um, I can either create a new one or just take out everything, delete it, and you know, make a bigger one. So, I mean, it's great. You can make a multiple of them. I mean, this is essentially, I mean, I know I've said that a lot, that word a lot actually, but I mean, I can't stress enough how awesome this is. What I want to stress also is if you are a Mac user, you don't rely on Windows, you don't depend on Windows, what you need to do is click on Drive plus iTunes and then reboot. It'll, um, uh, make the efficiency of this application work a lot better for you guys. If you like Windows, you use Windows, you use Mac, both, click it on default. It'll work with both of them. But as far as uh, everything else and learning what every single drive does, then uh, please go check out the written tutorial, which will be up as soon as possible. Thank you guys for sticking in this late. Uh, let me know, I mean, about that, um, you know, if you want to see top 10 or top 5 city applications essentials that will help you in your everyday life. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Again, if you leave a comment right now after seeing this video, I will post it up the same day. Look at the date. It is Wednesday, October 14th. So uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace.